What's going on, everybody? I am back with another Super Draft NBA Player Props video after going 5-0 and in Game 2, guys. Hopefully, you locked that in. If you would have locked in all five of those props, you would have 20x your money over here on Super Draft. So, hopefully, you did. Hopefully, a bunch of you won a lot of money and looking forward to continuing it here in Game 2. Three. If you enjoy this content, would be greatly appreciated if you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content that I upload. Like goal is going to be 200 likes. I know we can get there after a clean sweep, 5-0. and should be a lot of happy people hoping. And uh, looking forward to continuing this hot streak. We have the over Derek White, 9.5 points. The over Stephen Curry, 28 points. Over Clay Thompson, 0 0.5 steals. Over 1.5 three-pointers made for Andrew Wiggins. And over 13.5 points for Jordan Poole. All five hits, so... Good juju. We're feeling good. Excited to get into this one, guys. I got five picks to get you winning some money. And if you haven't checked out Super Draft, check them out today. Use that promo code KJKDFS to receive an instant match on your first $25 deposit. Again, that is code KJKDFS. Go to lock that in. Get that free money offer and start winning some money over here on Super Draft with these picks tonight, guys. Or you can click that link down below in the description. When you do, it'll shoot you on over to this page. When you see the KJKDFS logo, you know you're in the right spot. You can click on get off or get that $25 match on your $25 deposit. So, we got five picks, man. Let's talk about it. As far as this game tonight, we have a 212 and a half over under. It's a three and a half point spread in favor of the Boston Celtics. And uh, in Boston for game three, should be a good one. I think this one should stay close after that last one blowing out. Uh, we were still, still able to get there with the props we went with, so that was nice. But uh, obviously, we want these games to stay close. It's a little bit more predictable as far as our picks and all that fun stuff. And uh, we'll go team by team here. So for the Golden State Warriors, first guy I want to talk about is going to be Stephen Curry. And uh, we are, once again, going to be targeting his points. I think that he just continues to get absolute buckets in this series. I like the over 28.5 points. The shot volume has been phenomenal for him. We know Klay Thompson's been struggling a little bit with his shots. Looking at the shot line for Stephen Curry in the first two games, 25 shots, 21 shots. I mean, he's the leader of this team. He's the main guy that's going to go out there and lead them to the championship They're gonna, if they're going to win this thing. And with Klay Thompson struggling, I mean, I think he's going to continue to just shoot a ton. I mean, that's his role. His role is to go out there and get buckets. 7 for 14 from the three-point arc in game one, 5 for 12, 6 for 7 from the free throw line, 3 for 4 from the free throw line. You can see 29 points, 34 points respectively. Expect a lot more of the same here from Stephen Curry in game three and i like the over 28 and a half points for him that's going to be pick number one on the video pick number two we're going to be going to his teammate in andrew wiggins uh similar to what we talked about about clay thompson i think we're, they're going to need some secondary scores to kind of pick up the slack and i think andrew wiggins is going to be one of those guys i like his line over here on super draft for the scoring as well uh 15 and a half points i like the over here he plays massive minutes now he's not a guy that's going to shoot as much as uh stephen curry but when he does shoot, typically it's going to be very efficient shots. He's going to have open looks from, you know, guys like Clay and Steph getting him open, um, finding him for open looks. You look at the shot volume last time out, uh, only 12 shots, but he went four for 12, two for three from down the three point arc. Like, that's kind of what I'm expecting out of him. Had only 11 points, but I think if that game had stayed close, he would have cleared the over in that game as well. Game one, eight for 15. He went two for seven from behind the arc. Still cleared the over in points very easily. You put up 20 the game before that, 18. You know, that's what I'm expecting out of Andrew Wiggins, a guy that's going to play in the mid-30s to upper 30s to right around 40 minutes in competitive games. Um, not going to be shooting a ton, but he doesn't need to shoot a ton with where his line set at 15 and a half, you know, compared to the 28 and a half in, in Stephen Curry. I expect it to be kind of a very efficient uh, upper teens to 20 points or so points out of Andrew Wiggins. So I do like the over 15 and a half points for Andrew Wiggins, pick number two. And pick number three uh, on the Golden State Warriors, we're going to be going with the guy off the bench in Jordan Poole. I uh, targeted him a game one off the bench, going to continue to target him. We, I keep talking about Klay Thompson's shooting struggles, but I do think it's kind of a theme. Like, Klay Thompson might go out there and have a huge game here, and then, of course, um, you know, that could affect the, these, the outcome of these that we're going with, but he just really doesn't have a shot. I really think they're going to be looking to other guys to kind of pick up the scoring volume, and I think Jordan Poole off the bench is one of those guys, and Super Draft has a nice line on him at uh, 12 and a half. I am on him at over 13 and a half as well, actually. So the fact that we can get him at 12 and a half over here on uh, Super Draft, I really, really do like this pick as well. Um, coming off the bench, I expect all the shot volume to be there for him. I uh, expect him to, you know, just come up. I mean, that's kind of similar to Stephen Curry. His job is to come off the bench and provide a scoring punch off the bench when they really need it. 
you know, uh, he's going to come in for some short spurts, but he's going to take lots of shots. You look at the efficiency and the shot volume as far as last game out. Um, really, really good. He went five for nine from behind the three point arc on 23 minutes, but he took 14 shots. I mean, that's kind of what I'm expecting. I'm expecting him to come in here and just fire shots. You know, he might not be out there for the longest amount of time, but when he is, I expect him to be chucking up a lot of shots and, uh, he can stroke it from behind the arc. He's a good shooter overall. You want to be going with the over 12 and a half points for Jordan Poole. Pick number three and then pick numbers four and five. We're going to be headed on over to the Boston Celtics sides of things. We're going to be talking about a couple of their guys. So pick number one on the Celtics side, pick number four in the video is going to be the over on Jason Tatum rebounds. I like the over seven. Um, I'm on him at over six and a half. And I wish, obviously, Super Draft would dip this down. But I just think that he's probably going to go out there and grab eight plus anyway. So I'm not too concerned about it. Uh, the Celtics are choosing to run Robert Williams out there for limited minutes. It's really opened up the rebounding opportunities for Jason Tatum. You can see 14 minutes last time out, 24 minutes of time before. He's dealing with a knee injury. Uh, with him running kind of limited minutes and with the Golden State Warriors willingly going to a small ball lineup as they often do, pulling Kev Kevon Looney up the floor and running Draymond at the five, um, you know, they're going to match Draymond up with Al Horford. They're not going to need Robert Williams on the floor really too much. And that's going to open up some rebounding opportunities for Jason Tatum. And you look at the rebounding opportunities for him um, so far in the playoffs, as far as Tatum's rebounding opportunities per game, he's getting 11 rebounding opportunities per game. So, I mean, I expect him to pull down, you know, 8, 9, 10, 11 rebounds in this game. When you're looking at the, the minutes for him last time out, he almost pulled down uh, 7 rebounds, which would have, you know, matched this line in limited minutes. He only played 34 minutes. That game got away. You know, he typically plays right around 42 minutes. Um, you look at the three games before in the Miami Heat series, 12, 9, 10 rebounds the last three times out. So that's kind of what I'm expecting more of in massive minutes as well, 44, 45, 46 minutes. I mean... That's what I'm expecting. Jason Tatum's going to play massive minutes. Uh, the only reason he didn't last time was because of the blowout. It would be more ideal to get this 6.5, but I'm still rocking with it at the over 7. And lastly, uh, same story for Al Horford. They're going to take Robert Williams out the floor. He's going to be matched up with Draymond at the 5. He's getting a ton of rebounding opportunities. You look at his rebounding opportunities during the playoffs as far as Al Horford's concerned. Um, per game, let's see if I can find him here. 16 rebound chances per game. 16 rebounding chances. I mean, that's way over the line as far as what it's set over here on Super Draft. Nine rebounds. I think he goes out there and grabs down 10 plus rebounds. So I pick number five is going to be the over Al Horford. Same story. They're playing Robert Williams limited minute. They're going to pull him off the floor. That's going to open up rebounding opportunities for the wings. I think those main two guys that are grabbing down those rebounds are Jason Tatum and Al Horford. So I want to be taking both of their rebounding props here in game three and that is my five picks to get you winning some money over here on super drafts guys hopefully you enjoyed if you did hit that like button subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content that i upload if you haven't checked out the premium content package that i do offer those as well that's linked below in the description patreon.com slash kjk underscore dfs i do offer super draft prize picks DraftKings FanDuel, prize picks wmba and then the all new, new mlb all-star package which is going to include Price Pick, Super Draft, Jacking, and FanDuel. If you haven't signed up for Super Draft, um, you need to do so today, guys. Use that promo code KJKDFS. Get that instant match for $25. Lock in these picks. We're looking to go 5 0 again. Looking to keep the hot streak going. Wishing you guys all the best of luck on your Super Draft picks tonight. And we will see you in the next one.